Hello! My name's Andrew Hara. I'm a filmmaker, and you're on my filmmaking page. On this page, you'll see my shorts, you'll see my trailers for my movies. I have three movies out. Uh, the Last Ones, Borderland, and Humble Spirits. All of these are available on Tubi. They're pretty cool. Go check them out. One's a zombie movie. Who doesn't love zombies? The other one's about the cartels. Very relevant with all of the immigration, maybe. Not at all. Either way, go check it out. Humble Spirits is about... The Jennifer Hahn family, the family of fighters, they're a very inspiring family. And I think that that documentary is really cool. Go check that one out. But yeah, so it's 2023. It's my birthday, kind of. My birthday was last week, but we decided to hold off because I wanted to film something for this video. Um, but it's still the month, so it still counts. And it's 2023. So we just wanted to give you like a happy new year rundown of what's to come. So let's get started. Happy New Year! That's why I got all this New Year stuff. So the first thing is there's a different channel. <laughs> On my other channel, which is the Bomb Squad podcast, we have two different types of videos. We have the podcast, we have the deep dives. Now the deep dives, they're kind of like video essays, film essays about different things. We've done some about open endings and why they're important and how they work. And then we've done other ones about... Um, Continuing sequels, we just did a He-Man one that was very successful, and we plan to do more of those. Um, we're a little bit ready. We There's a Skeletor one for the fans of the He-Man one that um, should be coming out soon. It should be coming out this month. And then we're going to kind of get away from He-Man because I've done like more episodes on He-Man than anyone else. We're going to have some fun stuff after that, like we're going to have a director showcase, which should be pretty cool. Um, and then just some other fun things. and. For the podcast, if you haven't listened to the podcast yet, the podcast is me, Joshua Epp, who's like a graphic designer out of Portland, and William Murdoch, who's done some of the music for some of my movies. He's done some of the editing for the last ones. He helped edit The Empty Space. So he's done a lot of stuff. And so he's also our, now our third host. And we have a bunch of fun stuff on the podcast. So with the Bomb Squad podcast, our whole idea is to make look at movies from a more positive point of view. like. We try to look at what the movie was trying to achieve, not just like, because saying it's good and bad is kind of boring and, you know, it's so easy. And we do say that, but we also try to figure out like what the themes are, what um, what the director was going for this way. We're at least giving like every film a chance. And so we have some fun stuff. So let's take a look. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to the Bomb Squad. I'm your host, Andrew Hada. Uh, huh. I thought I saw something in my yard. Anyway, welcome to the Bomb Squad. Uh, it didn't come back at all. Like, we didn't find out like why they showed us that in this particular story. It's like, oh, the yeah. demons have changed in the modern era. Like, they've gotten worse. Yeah, I know. Like He was like, hey, get these pins out of my head. Did you see something? Yeah, that's the part that I thought looked like really silly. Like when they were just like, you, you show him, you show like the toy maker arguing with like. Oh, oh no! I remember you mentioning that last time though. But... So honestly, Hellraiser is one of my favorite franchises. So yeah, it's great. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that wasn't the podcast, and that is the reason that we held off on this video because I thought it would be funny to have that little short. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I could have shown you a real clip, but it's out of context. So I was going to show you 30 seconds of a review. Now go check out the reviews if you want. The link is at the bottom. And um, yeah, that was just a fun thing that I thought would be cool. We have more. Um, we want to thank, we've hit 100 subscribers, which is pretty cool. Because that channel, you know, we're just, we're just feeling it out. Um, and we are going to have a special 100 episode review. We haven't figured out exactly what, but if you have any ideas, let us know. Okay, now we're going to talk about the actual content on this channel. These glasses, look and check this out. Bam. Doesn't work. Out. Okay, there we go. Coolio. Let's talk about the shorts. So, last year, or okay, I got to tell you. 
<laughs> it's too much. It's too much. I got to take it off. Would have thought lights would be distracting. Um, so last year, our plan was to have a short every month. Uh, we started shooting with that idea in mind. But then, uh, you know, my grandma died. My grandpa died at the same time. Um, and then in the winter, we had this big project that I'll talk about a little bit later. And it kind of froze up my computer. And then my dog, Benny, died, who if you've seen Borderland or if you've seen any thing that I've been, any social media I've been on, you'll know that Benny was a huge part of my life. And so it's just been a rough year. But um, the so we ended up filming a lot because of scheduling. We couldn't move dates, but I haven't really edited anything just because of that. And so this year I really want to focus on editing. We got some cool shorts that have already been shot. Um, we have another parody, like we did the Freddy one that was very popular. We have another one coming out about the screen. Uh, that should be really fun. I'm excited for that. We also have uh, Corona short, and then we have one that I'm super excited about, about the history of La Llorona. We're going to have it in English and in Spanish, because obviously. And um, that one's real fun. We've been I researched it. We've been researching, been like shot. We've shot a lot of footage, as you can see. A lot of cool stuff. It's easy to make La Llorona look cool. Makeup was great. Um, and so that's another one I'm very excited for. We also have The Shadow, which reunited me with actress Valerie Aline, who I've worked with on The Empty Space. You know, us getting back together because to, we have a good working relationship and it helps build that up. And I'm very excited we got to film in the old jail cell. It's a really cool short. It's really fun. I, I'm very excited for that one, but that one's coming. And so we have all these to edit and we're very happy to have those so those should start rolling out very quickly and then there's a there's something that i like to call shorties and shorties these are shorts that you know i can do kind of like what we did last year i think the shadow was a bigger one but the other ones were kind of like these little shorts that i could film that they don't cost too much so it's not really hurting my budgets and we just really pay the actors and stuff and they're just like single ideas so it doesn't take too long to write and so we have a couple of those coming up that should be real fun. Uh, we have one on Frankenstein, which I'm very excited for. And then we have a boom operator one that's mostly sound that I'm, I'm very excited for. I've been thinking about this one for a long time. Can't wait to shoot that one. Can't wait to film it. Can't wait to find it. And so it should be very cool. Uh, and that, those should be coming as well. We're going to shoot those whenever, and then hopefully we can uh, get those out as well. And which brings us to another – this year – and last year, I've been kind of focusing on shorts. And so we have the little shorties, and then we're going to have these bigger shorts that tell more complicated stories. So yeah, the big shorts, they're the ones that are going to require more budget. It's going to, we're not like with the shorties, I can take more of a chance with actors and um, and really explore like different techniques with the, sh with the big shorts. We have to really focus and everything has to be storyboarded. Like the shadow was this year, we had to storyboard everything. We, bought, we brought Valerie in just because those are a little bit more in-depth and they're about more important things. And so we have a couple of those. We have one that's going to star, if you can see that bear in the background or on the podcast episode or short film, that bear is going to be part of it. It's going to be very cool. Uh, it's about a girl. It's called Follow right now. The working title is Follow. It's about um, part found footage. And it's about a streamer who gets a stalker. And it's very interesting. I've been working on this one for quite a long time. Um, I'm very excited to explore this kind of thing. I like playing with found footage. And so I'm very excited. It should be really cool. We're getting that one done. But that one's going to be a big one. And then we have another one uh, called One Last Dance. It is a, about a grandma who refuses to leave her house. And it's set on Dia de los Muertos. And so that one I'm also very excited for. I'm barely writing that one, but that one's good. And these ones, we're trying to figure out when we're going to shoot those. Oh, another one of those is Dick Pick, which is a short. I didn't – it's not something I'm doing. There's a short film about a humorous situation involving a dick pic. You don't – it's not – you don't actually see anything, but it is funny. And when I posted, like, a list of my shorts, that's the only question anyone ever asked. So, yes, it will be coming. Very excited for that one. It's very funny. Um, but yeah, so these big shorts are going to take a little bit more time, but I'm very excited to kind of do these and explore the boundaries of, of short film. 
And I'm very excited for all the stuff we have coming up. Also, people have asked me, you know, they want to donate money or they want to, like, how can I support? Right now, I mean, I've looked, we're kind of starting to look into Kickstarters, but I don't think we need them right now. Everything is kind of moving well and it's kind of, we're on the right path. And I, you know, when I take people's money, I like to give them something in return. And so, Unless unless we figure out something, we're going to kind of keep it not. So we don't really need money. The best things to do to help me is, hey, watch my movies on Tubi. They're there. Go check them out. Put them on in the background. Don't tell anyone I said that, but if it happens, it happens. Because I get paid every time they watch them. But more important, and I, you know, those movies are worth watching. It's like, you know, Humble Spirits is inspiring. It's for all ages. Borderland and Last Ones are a bit more mature, but they're not too mature. But they are, you know, they're dealing with some interesting things. You get to see my progression as a filmmaker. Um, but if you really want to support other than watching on Tubi, like and subscribe. I can subscribe here. Like and subscribe to the Bomb Squad, the podcast. Um, engage with the comments. We always like to see people's comments. We're getting a little bit more on the on the Bomb Squad. And it's always interesting to see people's takes. And they give us recommendations now. But, yeah, that's the right now the best way to follow me is to do that. And I think. You know, I appreciate everyone's support so far, and I can't wait to show you some of the stuff we got coming up. But thank you for sticking with me, and hope hope we bring something out for you soon. Thanks.